uh, promoted through unrealistic trends and standards that you see all the time. And, and talk about how crucial, you know, research data is in the in the process of you implementing it into your blog, the content, and just, you know, the vast amount of information that people receive today. How do you kind of, you know, ensure the, the quality, I guess, in a sense, and why, you know, the research and data is so important in the work and, and bringing out, you know, good quality information and content? That's a great question. And it's another reason why I started my research and, yeah. and started my writing is because, as you know, I feel like so much of the advice out there either conflicts with other advice, it's right. confusing. You read one thing from a health and fitness guru and, you know, something totally different from somebody else. And yeah. so everything that I try to write about is evidence-based, meaning right. there was some, at least some scientific study that was done well that shows this type of an outcome mm. and what we can learn from it. And I think I think it's so important. There's a, You hear a lot of stuff out there about the latest supplement or pill or drug or yeah. new technology. Yeah. And really that's not the stuff that I'm interested in. I'm interested in what are the things that are practical and actionable that almost anybody can do basic yeah. lifestyle things right like exercise like eating a healthy diet right that are proven to help you be healthier and live longer and yeah. it's it's really the basics and the fundamentals that i'm most interested in not right. the you know latest trend or fad that's out there Right. And, and, and that's obviously interesting, right? Because obviously a lot of people are appealed to the trends, to, to you know, the fads out there. And, and for you, obviously having such a successful blog and, and reach, talk a bit about like, I guess, a little bit of your, your, your strategy and approach to kind of, you know, making sure that, you know, people see this and obviously engaging with it too, which, which is obviously a, a, a big part of making it a success. Yeah, I try to I try to make it as easy as possible for right. people. I mean, there are things that are not that hard to do. Things yeah. like exercising for 30 minutes a day. It's right. not that hard to do. And if you're not currently exercising, walking for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. That alone, going from being sedentary to walking 30 minutes a day yeah. will do wonders for, for someone's health, right? right? And that's something that takes what? two or 3% of the time that you're awake. I mean, it's really no time. Eating yeah. more fruits and vegetables, right? Filling half your plate with fruits and vegetables. Like that's a, that's a really easy thing that will probably add years to your life, right? It's these very yeah. simple, basic things mm. that I try to focus on, not the, you need to, you know, do high intensity interval training and, you know, weightlifting 10 hours a week. It's really right. like, what are those basic things that yeah. almost anyone can do to yeah. live healthier? Um, because that stuff makes a huge difference more than the, you know, latest, latest supplement or kind of diet pill that's out there. Right. Right. No, it makes, makes total sense. And, and before going into kind of like the, the last question here, I wanted to ask you a little bit about like, Obviously, where where can people find this this sort of information? Obviously, what's the best places to to check out your content, the blog, and uh, and, and give, give us. I, I know you touched like briefly on some of the topics, but but just give us like an overview of like what people can read and discover uh, on on your blog and content. Yeah, thanks for thanks for mentioning. So anyone can read uh, my writing at my personal website, which is andrewmerle.com. I also write on Medium, uh, so you can you can find my writing there. Also at Andrew Merle, I'm on Twitter at Andrew Merle, and I tweet a lot about these topics. I think if you uh, if you follow me, you will read a lot of articles about health, performance, and longevity. I write a lot about nutrition, so nutrition that either can help your sport performance or just help you live healthier or live longer. I've studied the blue zones, uh, right. the places around the world where people live the longest. So nice. I write about them and, and their sort of lifestyle habits yeah. Uh, yeah. quite a bit. So those are um, cool. those are some of the topics that you can uh, that you can expect. But anybody who's looking to be healthier, looking to live longer, I think you might enjoy some of the content that I put out. Awesome. There. And, then, and then just, you know, 